Hello, my name is Ollie Furnival. Welcome to my teaching and learning activities video. Please subscribe to my video channel on YouTube. It's called Teaching and Learning. If you have any questions about this video, please email me, oliverfurnival at gmail.com, and you can find me on Twitter at ibcoordinator underscore. Today's teaching and learning activity is teaching activity 11, and it's called Find Someone Who. The main premise behind this activity is using the variety of experiences of all the students in your class to get them to um, build up a picture of knowledge within the classroom. Um, this can be used as, um, <coughs> or across really a wide spectrum of, of different subjects. I've used this in a variety of humanities at Key Stage 3 um, and 4 in England and across the INS um, and Theory of Knowledge um, in the NYP and DP of International Baccalaureate. I've also seen this used from watching other teachers as a good way of gauging information um, for many a subject, including mathematics, for example. So, the idea is that this is um, an interactive activity where students are speaking to as many other students in a short amount of time to gain ideas. So, really, what you need to do is you need to get the class who have sat down to um, stand up um, some space in your classroom at the back of the room, or if you don't have that, they can move in and out of seats. But the key idea is that students are working with not just one student, not in pairs, but they're speaking to a student, then going on and on and on, and using um, information they've got from another student to pass on to others. So, let's take you through um, an example um, lesson that I've used this um, in recently. So this is my um, MYP um, INS class on globalisation. Okay, so after you know um, what we're looking at is the pros and cons of globalisation, and after just understanding you know a, an activity where <coughs> students can work um, in pairs or in groups to find the idea, we come um, the idea of what global um, com uh, companies look like, multinational companies look like. We then come on to the um, find someone who um, activities. So. I'm teaching it in Japan at the moment, so I'm trying to get my students who live in Japan to think of um, as many different uh, companies they can um, that sell goods abroad. So the idea is that me, student A, I ask student B for a Japanese company that sells their goods abroad, and, and I can get one written there, for example, Sony. Okay? But then I don't ask that student for anything else. I then ask another student if they know of a Japanese company that sells goods abroad, and I might get the next student I speak. I can get from them Hitachi, and then I can give them either my own idea, um, Sony, um, or another company, um, um, Nintendo. And then when I go to my third student, I've already got three ideas here. So um, I can give them maybe one of the ideas, one of the companies. If I, gave, if, if I give my first idea of Sony and they've got it, I can look back at other students' work and get different companies. So what I can do is I can go around in a couple of minutes speaking to as many students as I can and each time I do, I'm getting a new idea and if I find one, if a student gives me an idea I've already got, I can ask for another and they've already built up their own um, amount of companies. Okay. Um, Going on from that, we've got have you been part of globalisation? And the idea is you've got to go around the class finding people who've been affected by globalisation. So we're, looking, we're working in the International Baccalaureate, so many, many students that I teach um, have um, lived abroad. As so those of you teaching in the International Baccalaureate and in international schools will find. So the idea is I get the name of a student, where they've lived, and the parent's job. And in doing that, I've got one student and then I go on to another student, I'm finding someone who's lived abroad, parents' job, and when I'm doing that, I'm getting an array of countries and I'm getting um, the different companies which may well have come up before. Then, um, a similar activity, I can ask one student who they are and what items they've uh, brought that have been made um, from a foreign country, okay? So what I'm doing here, is I'm encouraging students to speak to as many um, as they can, many different people as they can. And they're going around the classroom with their handout, asking and answering questions, and then moving on to different students. Um, and this is based on, a, you know, it can be based on a variety of experiences that, that are held in the class, um, where people might be more willing to speak one-on-one -on -one around the classroom to share ideas that they might not be as willing to put their hand up and speaking in front of the whole class. So it's a real, really builds up what we know, what we've experienced within the class. Um, 
This can also be created by students um, as questions of part of a research topic that they are investigating. I mentioned earlier maths, when, when the maths students do their diploma programme um, activities, um, sorry, the, the diploma, diploma programme maths investigations, they've got to research a topic and then they can go around asking people um, that. So um, the learning outcomes of this then is that it's improving the speaking and listening skills of students because all students are going around the class speaking and listening um, at the same time. Um, and then what we can do is we can learn a different, different um, amounts of varieties, different varieties and different experiences from the, same, from the students in the same class as us. And we can take those experiences, note them down and move on with them um, to build up work in the topic we're studying. Um, we can also, when we do find someone who, I make it that you have to speak to as many people as possible. So what we do then is we're encouraging students to um, speak to students they may not engage, they may not usually engage with. You know, say you get into pairs and groups, you'll find students generally go to the same um, people um, that, that they feel comfortable with. Here you're making students break out of their comfort zone. And through activities, like I've shown a couple of them here, what we're doing is we're getting students to speak to everyone. And, you know, it's not, it's not a... Um, they're not asking questions always what's right or wrong, we do here, but here asking students to use um, their experiences, especially in the, in the International Baccalaureate when we're looking at international mindedness, we're looking at different people with different ideas. But as I said, this can be used in a variety of classrooms for a variety of different um, activities. It's quick, it gets students speaking to um, many different students within the classroom. And what I've found, um, you know, I can do this sit on your own and think by yourself, as many Japanese companies there are that are multinational. However, when I get people, students to go around the room and get from others, then they build up far more companies in a far quicker time. Thank you very much.